Yo, what is up? Um, Captain Mars Productions here, uh, back with another video. Today we have this, it's a fellow shredder. Uh, it's the PS79CI, whatever that means. And today we're taking it apart because it doesn't work anymore. I am not sure how to take it apart. And I know this bit's really heavy up here. So this is gonna be a fun video. Um, yeah, I have no idea. There's no exposed screws. Uh, hang on. Nope. Well, it looks like that comes off from the body. Yeah, it does. Okay, so now that we've got that off, put it aside. And put this aside as well. And now, let's move to my workshop to take apart the motor. Alright, so here is the teeth of the shredder, that's why I call it. It is real dusty. I don't know what's been going on with this shredder. But anyway, uh, we're gonna take it apart. I'm gonna get my screwdriver set, and of course, my drill. I'm gonna load this. Hang on. Give me a second. Where is it? How do I get it out? Bad design there. It's not easily accessible. Okay, this extension socket. And I will put that into my drill because it can grip onto it. Okay, you get a PH1 screwdriver means Phillips head one. Right, see how this does. Mm. Those screws are really deep down there, so I can't even use my drill for those ones. I'm gonna have to use a long screwdriver, wherever it may be. Here it is. basically touching the plastic. And this one won't even reach. Uh, and how am I going to do that? Yeah, we're gonna have to break a few of them. Jeez, what is fellows thinking when they built this? Um, right. Right, how am I gonna go about doing this? Even my screwdriver won't fit. How far will this have to go? Oh, yes! Just a little bit of it sticking out. Yeah, this one will work. Haha, <laughs> you need a pretty sophisticated tool set to work this. Ha <laughs> ha I did it. Didn't have to break them. Just use this. There's like a total of one, two, three, four, five, six screws. You gotta remove seven and eight on the back, actually. So I'd say about eight. This is the last one on the top. Wait, okay.
And then there are two on the back I can see. Oh, I can't. There are two back here near the power port, the AC power. And yes, it will just pop off. We'll wiggle it free. There it goes. My God, dusty. Okay, pop off this switch. And I'm just gonna have to let it sit there. That is one big motor. And those are some gears right there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no power going through this. There's, there's one large motor. I got to say, it has a worm gear sticking out. Is that worm gear? I'm not sure. I'll show you later. Where's that? Stabilization mount. Yeah. From here, you can just pick it up and it'll come on out. But I don't want to deal with that yet. I'm now I'm going to deal with that. Oh, sorry, keep shaking the camera. This filming space is very small. Um. There is a switch here. That's the on-off switch. It has already fallen out. That's a pretty nice switch. And where does that red wire go to? Okay, here. Okay, now the top part is free. We'll deal with it later. I do not know what it connects to. Yeah, put it aside. That is one large motor right there. Um, I'm still surprised. I haven't seen anything bad. <laughs> Pause. Uh, anyway, it's really dusty in here as well. There's a switch here that will detect when the door is closed so that it won't shred your fingers as well, which would be a bad thing. There's a power. Hang on, spin around for you to see. Here's the power adapter. I'm gonna disconnect everything. I'll have to use a might be a set of tools that I use to disconnect those. It might be wrong, but this is how I do it. It might be the wrong way of doing it, but yeah. Hold on to it from here. There's one, there's two. And there's three. All three have been removed. The power switch is free. Actually, the power adapter. There's a lot of uh, zip ties. Very good cable management there, fellows. Uh, yeah, very hard to use cable management. Right. Let's remove whatever that is. You tell me in the comments what it is. I'm really not sure. I'm just taking it apart because I know how to remove sc screws from a machine. I will disconnect it the same way. All right, here it is. I don't know what it is. Is it a relay or something? I'm not sure. Now time to remove the, I don't know if I should even call it a motherboard, but we will for the purpose of this video. Remove the motherboard. I'm just disconnecting all the wires from it. Everything in here is a really tight fit. I just want to mention something. This lasted like 11 years. So 
so it has reliability. Okay, that's as many wires as I can remove for now. Time to remove like four screws holding it in. Yep, and the motherboard is free. I'm gonna get some cable cutters so I can cut those uh, zip ties. Okay, these mounts will fall off. They're only held in by uh, zip ties. Wow, there's one big cluster of cables right there. And another zip tie. in the computer build video I'll be doing in the future. Even my cable management won't be as good as this. All right, and that's as many cables as I can remove from it. Put the motherboard aside. It's got a small microprocessor there. Put that aside. But yeah, how many rotations of this fan does it have to do before it does one full rotation of that? What's the gear ratio? Or does it spin this way? No, this way. So, I don't know, spin it and see what comes out of the... Nothing, so it's just operating normally. All right, let's just cut these zip ties off. That is kind of my goal right now, get rid of the zip ties so I can easy, more easily work on this, this machine. I almost said computer. I don't know what that is. There is some kind of ground cable, looks to be. Disconnect it. This other cable aside, looks to be a ground cable again. All right, put that aside, that goes to the motor. And finally, we can remove the shredder assembly. There it is, I'm gonna put that on the floor for now. and then deal with what's here. Now oh, look, there's plastic, lots of papers. Now, we're gonna take apart this, which are the LEDs that you see on the top. It will tell you how much paper is being inserted into the shredder, right there. There's a button, I'm not sure what it does, and I was never sure what it did. So that'll be a mystery. There's more LEDs up here, but I kind of want to remove this.
feeder actually to the shredder. Actually, this is a good time to use my drill. So let's switch that. Um, where's that drill bit? I don't know, I'll just swap this into the drill. Unlock. Okay. That is better. That's already broken. Gonna just break off the other side. So it looks to be a laser in between, or some kind of light sensor that will show how much paper is being put into the shredder. Pop those out, put it aside, and here as well. We'll look into this in more detail later. LEDs. Things such as the bin is full and, uh, you know, that something's stuck, it's jammed. Take that zip tie out. One of the switches, take a look. It has two connectors. Put it aside. Another zip tie. We're gonna cut that and get this orange and black wire free. Set that one free. That one as well. Oh look, there's some kind of, all right, that's free. And this. Looks to be a ground wire or something. How do I remove this? Got it. Apparently it's some sort of sensor. We're gonna take it apart. Weighted at one end. Wait, yeah. It's weighted at one end. This is the thing that senses how much paper is in the shredder. Yeah, I'll need a smaller screwdriver for this, so. We're gonna take this part at the end. something else. On, off, and left, right. What else could be used for? I don't know. A remote. 
television, whatever. Another one of these switches, real satisfying to click, should use these in mechanical keyboards. Um, yeah, we're basically down to the bare internals. Time to take apart the shredding system. Uh, wait, we're not done yet here. We have like five, six screws left that are holding the the safe sense system. That thing is the system where if you put your finger near the, the entrance to the shredder, it will stop. Of course, me being myself, I turned off safe sense. Because I, well, you know, it's just annoying when it stops when your finger's near the, the entrance to the shredder. Wait, what happened? Why isn't it, why isn't it coming out? It's this little metal piece. Okay, got it. It's actually plastic with a metallic layer on it. Like, see, look, I can break it. That means it's just, yeah, there you go. It's just plastic with a metallic strip over it. So, nothing that special. And there it is. That's the hood of the printer. <laughs> I mean, the shredder. <laughs> what printer? Alright, now it's time to take apart this, which is, there's not much to take apart, there's only a few screws holding everything together. Now we have this switch at the front. I'm gonna use um, this. Ow. Uh, I'm gonna use a flathead screwdriver to remove that. Okay, got it. So this is a on-off switch, the safe sense thing. I've turned mine off, obviously, so it stayed like that for years. And then here's a little rocker switch. Not a rocker switch, no, it's a... Oh god, I don't know what that is. Whatever, put it aside. It's time to assemble the gear system once I clean off this desk. So, in a second, you'll see a clean desk. Okay, uh, you see, it's a clean desk. Soon it's gonna get, yeah, stuff will be everywhere again. Yep, time to take this apart. I do not know how it works, but that's why we learn. Very greasy, it's the first thing I can tell. It's like it was in a <laughs> what is it? in the kitchen. Which means I don't know. So we're gonna remove this ground cable first thing. Uh wait. It's not coming off. Ooh, that must be holding the motor together. I'm putting it back in a second. I kind of want to keep the motor. Uh-oh. Okay, 
All right, it got fixed. Quite like that motor, and I want to keep it. Okay, first step is probably to remove the motor itself from the assembly. So that it's much lighter and much easier to work on. Oh, wait, you can't. Shoot. So, uh, remove this bracket. I hope it's in the frame, yeah. Remove this bracket that holds on the gears. It has one, two, three, four, five screws, as I can count. It is extremely greasy, like they dip this in a bucket of grease and they just call it a day from there. Maybe they did this to make it run. Oh wow, that is one pretty nice gear, I'm keeping it. But that metal gear looks pretty nice. I still kind of like it. Oh, look at that. It finally ran quickly. Yep, that is removed. Now I can, uh, Is extremely greasy. Ugh. I'm gonna go wash my hands even though it's just gonna get greasy again I might wear gloves to finish this disassembly. My god. Ah, that's not acceptable. Okay guys got some mechanics gloves on. That's what it says on the box anyway. Time to continue the disassembly. Now finally we can remove the motor and these screws are screwed on really tight so be aware of that. That one's not as tight. This one's the tightest because it's the only one holding on this motor at the moment. The plastic gasket in the middle. And there it is. It's free. The motor is free. Thirty FPS camera is not doing well with this. Yep, satisfying to watch. Mm, yeah, two wires, four, six. Yeah, we'll put the motor aside. I'll look at it later. It's time to continue the tear down disassembly of this printer. Uh, why do I keep saying printer? Um, this <laughs> shredder. Two very different items. Printers to print the important documents, shredders to destroy them. Oh, wait a second. trash on me right now from the shredder. Okay.
remove all these rubber mounts. Flip it over. Okay, so I'll need another uh, flathead screwdriver to hold on to this screw. So here's what I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of using my drill to drill this side while holding on to this side with that one. We'll see how that works. This is really, it's really greasy. Oh. Uh, now my drill is dirty. Oh wait, it's supposed to be dirty. side is. Nope, it's not. So now that screw is gone, I can hold on to it with a wrench instead. See how this goes. Ah, stripped it. Yep, completely stripped it. Whatever, we have another one to deal with. So instead, I just broke it right off. Easy as that. The screw head is right here. Very good. These little teeth can pop out now. Spin it round. See if we can remove it. Nope, it's putting up a pretty good fight there. Okay, just hold on to it with a screwdriver and it should come free. Nice, so this is one fully intact, one of those bars. Remove those little teeth that hold it in place. Now flip it over for the other part. Needs a lot of power to move those. Okay. It's a bit more difficult. Okay, my drill sucks. It's stripping every screw that it can see. Its philosophy is I see it, I strip it. Does that sound weird? I don't know. Let's see on the other side. Is it easier? Yes. Actually, I'll let my drill through this one. see what one side looks like. Oh, broke it again. Good. Now we can remove all these little teeth that I put in place. I don't know why, but I'm going to remove them. it put together. Alright, I'm gonna 
gonna do this off camera most of it. Okay, so a few good smacks of that uh, shredder assembly in the backyard. And it got me to, well, nowhere really. But it's time to take apart this motor. I wanna see what's inside it, what makes it work. Yeah. Uh, first, got rid of the fan. Okay, got that off. Kind of a bracket. So old, just kind of, you know, stuck there for, I don't know. Okay, got it. It flew somewhere out of the studio. <laughs> Man, there's so much dust in that thing. There's a nut on the other side that you gotta undo. Give me a second. All right, there it is. And now the other side. Okay. Okay, that's one end of the motor. There's the other end of the motor, and here's the coil. It's a pretty nice ball bearing there, I kinda want it. Look at that, those ball bearings are smooth. Hold it here, do that. Seriously. All right, so finish up this assembly. Of course. I'm gonna take this out of here. Got it. Just give it some light taps of the hammer. Kinda want those ball bearings. Let's see if I can get them out. No, I said near the end, I was gonna show you what's inside this thing. So let's really see what's in there. Feels like there's nothing in there, but I guess there is something. So it looks like it's held in place by one of these. Okay, don't know how to remove one properly, but okay, there we go, that does it. Now there are four uh, very small screws there. So I'm gonna use a PH type zero, PH zero, Phillips head zero screwdriver. Yeah, there's four of the screws. Okay, it's free. 
Okay, I see how this works. It's kind of like a computer mouse. There's a sensor in between. You see in between there, there's a sensor. And then the scroll wheel on a mouse would look like that, except it's a full 360 degrees. Little holes in there, as you see. And I'll go in between there and then trip a sensor in there. Okay, that's very interesting. So it's got some computer-inspired parts. Or the computer was inspired by these parts. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, thanks for watching. This is kind of a long video, I know. And I didn't know much of what's inside it. So, I, well, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you liked it. And also hit the like button if you liked it as well. So, uh, and if you want to see uh, better videos than this in the future, also hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>